much, Reese. Reese, you know there's an old Irish saying, may your trouble be less and your blessings be more. And are we ever blessed to have this right now from Aviva Stadium? On behalf of every red-blooded, football-loving, glass-raising American who made it here to the Emerald Isle, we welcome you to the return of Saturdays the way they should be, folks. A significant ACC conference game. And here come the number 10 Florida State Seminoles, the defending ACC champs. From the history-rich and magnificent city of Dublin, Ireland, it's the 2024 Air Lingus Football Classic as you're watching the ACC on ESPN as we welcome you here to Dublin, high above Aviva Stadium. Here we go, a whole new look of college football as we will say hello to a familiar face in DJ Uwe Ungole with a retain. Roy Dell Williams in the backfield with DJU. Jet motion. DJ will get it out to the flats to Williams, and Williams will turn the corner and have a first down for the Knowles, the transfer from Bama. And there's a rip in the sport. Williams went for eight on first down, and now the jet motion with Lucas as Lucas cuts back against the grain out to midfield. Jalen Lucas, the for Holmes went for a couple yards on the last carry. Big hole this time for Lucas as he spurts ahead to the 38-yard line, and it's another Florida State first down. Quick to the line, Uwe Ungole. Straight ahead, running. Good job by that offensive line to surge for about 10 and a half yards. Looks like he's right at that line to gain. That's no, a really good call out, Joe. This is a very experienced Florida State offensive line. 210 combined starts between them. Toa Feely, he breaks free. Lawrence Toa Feely, touchdown, no. The MVP of the ACC championship game with a 28-yard touchdown run to open up the season. Running backs, Roydell Williams, the Bama transfer this time, gets out in front, gets a block on Clayton Powell-Lee at safety. Swinging gate! Swinging gate! And Brian Courtney takes it in! Florida State opens up the season with Alex Mastromano. Georgia Tech was gonna defend it, but Georgia Tech, they've got all their bodies in here. They're not adjusting and getting everybody out to the left side, so instead of shifting everybody back in, Mastromano just lines up, they flip it outside, and that could not have been a better start to the season if you're Florida State and Mike Norvell driving down the field and DJ. Jamal Haynes will get the carry. Cuts back against the grain and does so with a lot of success out to the 35-yard line before he's taken down by Joshua Farmer. Interceptions in the country, and I think throwing it in this game against a very fast secondary at Florida State, you cannot get greedy and force the football. They'll make you pay. Jet motion. This is Singleton. And Singleton takes it out for a gain of nine. Freshman, a lot of one-on-ones. They'll focus in a lot on Jones and Peyton today. They do mark it as a first down. They get the ball quickly into space to Rutherford, and here he goes inside the 20 before he is taken down. That was Devonte Brown who ran him down, but Malik Rutherford with a big burst of a chunk playoff. This, seeing them respond on their first drive. Coach Key's offense, four plays run, three first down. King. As he gets it down to the one-yard line, Haynes King. Direct snap. Here he goes straight ahead and powers his way in. Let it rain, says Tech. Sting of Yellow Jackets. Who's ready for ball this year? 
man, oh man, we got a great start here. And get DJ Lundy a piece of him at linebacker, and that really is what gives the space for Pyron to bust in for the touchdown. Aiden Burr puts it through. Tremendous way to respond. Pressure. First third down faced by either team today. Third and five. DJU gets it complete as he's able to find Toa Feely. And Toa Feely still working his way all the way past midfield. Well, you saw Toa Feely on the touchdown running game for DJU. Cam Davis, much talked about true freshman in the backfield. Tap pass to Douglas. Chakai Douglas is able to get it just past the line to gain before Amari Harvey makes the tackle. Guys up in different places. Some guys have their hands down, others don't. They're trying to confuse the offensive line. They're trying to confuse the quarterback on these critical D&Ds. Third down and six. Here's Williams on the carry. A flag is down as he was taken down. And that was Romello Height who made the tackle. We will check on the flag. Him in the backfield. Fourth down and four. As he gets it to Toa Feely, but he is met right away. Great effort from Amari Harvey. It's a really good decision by DJU because there was a free blitzer. He was hot, and he went to his right target to Toa Feely, but it's a better tackle by Amari Harvey, the Auburn transfer cornerback in space. That's just a tackle you've got to make. Comes and Georgia Tech does not want one tackle blocking him by himself on an island. This third down and 16. Haynes King looking for anything, but well corralled as he could only make his way out towards the 30-yard line. Azaria Thomas undercut him there. That is a big series for Adam. Just phenomenal. You got the new rules, you got the coach to player communications, you got the changing landscape with conference realignment, and of course the 12 team college football playoff. As quickly to the outside is Morlock, as that'll be a first down. Talked about Tyler Santucci, the new D coordinator. He's got a lot of different funky looks. You see a lot of people at the line of scrimmage. Some have their hands down, some don't. DJU's got to be careful here. Third and 15 locally is referred to as third and limerick. Pressure and taken down. That was Romello Height as a penalty marker comes in at the end of that play, but that is exactly the elite talent they want to see off the edge from Height. He's a transfer from USC. Foul. He's the guy. Face mask, defense, number nine. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. And it's going to go the other way as a first down Florida State with the face mask. Wow, I was just going to say, he's the guy that they think can be the dude coming off the edge. He beats Robert Scott one-on-one. -on -one and Williams shifts back into the backfield. Play action. Pressure again on Uyunglele, but he dumps it to Williams as Williams maintains his balance down the sideline. And what a big play by the transfer from Bama, Roy Del Williams. Voice mask instead, it keeps the drive alive. And because of that, Florida State here knocking on the door. Third down and two. DJU taken down. That was a big time play again from Harvey. Remember, he had the fourth down stop earlier for San Backfield. And now the field goal attempt for Ryan Fitzgerald. He scored 115 points last year. This a 52-yard attempt from Fitzgerald. And he's able to drill it. A career long for Fitzgerald. A 52-yard field goal. Third down and five for Haynes King. Shallow cross gets a complete, has the first down to Chase Lane. And, and I love that from Haynes King, getting through his... You're trying to communicate with your own teammates. Alexander on second and four. Good run as he is finally torn down at about the 36-yard line by Shaheen Brown. But Chad Alexander... 
Second and ten. Design quarterback run. Here's King as he gets to the outside, inside the 30, and lowers the shoulder with a lot of rah-rah from the near sideline to get the extra yardage. That's the thing, Joe, about Haynes King, right? At 215 pounds, he's actually a pretty physical runner. When you watch him on film, oftentimes he's falling forward. He's not sliding. He's not running out of bounds. He's taking guys on. That time is this Georgia Tech attack. Second and three, Haynes. As Haynes King able to scoot his way to the 13-yard line, and that is a first down for Georgia Tech. It's a really second and six. Haynes King patiently waiting, and now muscling his way inside the five-yard line, and that should be yes, first and goal. King, first and goal. Xander is stacked up in the middle. It's amazing, too, because, Joe, I'm up here and I'm watching Haynes King. Small Haynes was in the backfield with him here on second and goal. And that time, Haynes King kept it himself and got to the one-yard line. Third and goal. Well, last time they were in this situation in the first King as the quarterback. Third and goal. Pushing ahead, and it's a touchdown, Georgia Tech. Jamal Haynes with the one-yard touchdown run as Georgia Tech takes their first lead of the game. Well, that felt like it took all 10 guys from Georgia Tech up front. You saw multiple linemen, you saw tight ends. Even Haynes King, the quarterback, gets in there. Look at him coming from the right side of the screen, number 10 right there, just trying to lower right shoulder in to help out his running back to push him across the line of scrimmage. Impressive, impressive drive by Georgia Tech showing a ton of physicality. Yards, eating clock, and taking the lead as Aiden Burr. That's who they have to deal with, the most talented edge rusher for the Yellow Jackets. Third down and seven. Pressure on DJU, he gets away. Tries to go ahead to get that big body to that line again, and he's very close. It'll depend on the spot. It was Sylvain Young Jewin. Was... Williams will take it straight ahead. An extra push for Williams, and that should give him the mark for the first down. The clock's going to stop. It's not. Clock re-engages once that ball is set. And here is DJ Uwe Ungele with time. Shot downfield and thrown to the outside of Lawrence Toafili. But the flag reigns in at the 18-yard line as LaMiles Brooks had coverage. And that time they lined up Toafili, a really yes, running back. Defense. It was like in a split tight end spot. Penalty. Automatic first down. He's showing you the incredible versatility. Stretching the field, they had him one on one with LaMiles Brooks. Never turns around to locate the football, and oftentimes that's an indicator for referees. Completions for 96 yards. See how they manage these last nine seconds with the timeouts in the bag. So a feeling. Tracked down. That was well defended by Tay Seymour. Games that was implemented last season in terms of icing the kicker. 59 yard attempt to tie the game at the half by Fitzgerald. And why not? A 59-yard field goal from Ryan Fitzgerald. If there's anybody from the English Premier League watching this game, he, he might get signed. It's going to be a Liverpool, a Chelsea, a Man U signage happening after the first half of Fitzgerald. Had. That was an absolute bomb. So well struck. Great minor correction by Mastromano. Big boot by Fitzgerald. Have a great second half.
as Georgia Tech will open up with the ball. Katie. You got and out of high school, but that has to show up now in the second half. Jamal Haynes breaks a tackle, gets free. Here goes Haynes. Pass midfield, perfect way to start the second half for the Yellow Jackets. Fifty making the tackle. Very, very lucky. Third down and five. After that big run by Jamal Haynes, they get in position. What will they do with it? Haynes King with time. Crossing route, and it's incomplete as he was trying to get it to Malik Rutherford. The cover They've got to get the vertical passing game going. Third down and seven. Williams remains the back flanking Uy Ungerle. It's in motion Williamson. DJ with time, gets it out, and gets it complete. Out pass mid to saying incomplete. That Ja'Kai Douglas was out of bounds. Boy, that was close. Jess, how about the body control? Well, it was pretty amazing. I guess, like, I'm looking back at this, and I'm trying to see where's the spot. Is there a point in this replay where conclusively you can tell that that right toe is down in bounds? From that angle, to me, it looks like it's down in bounds. Kind of the receiver completed the catch at the 48-yard line. It's first and 10 at the 48-yard line, Florida State. You know, and, and in that moment, Florida State on a big third down, they go to Ja'Kai Douglas. It's the landscape of the sport this year. JU, third down, that was thrown to the outside. Williamson was well covered. But another... You would think we're at Dope Campbell listening to this crowd here at Aviva Stadium in Dublin. Third down and 12, Haynes King with time. Receiver went down, ball went to the ground as he was looking for Rutherford, incomplete. And Michaels, he's really the heart and soul of this Yellow Jacket defense, and he's playing lights out so far in this game. Third down and one, and the 252-pound DJ Uwe Kungo play, and it'll be a first down for the state. I, I think that's going to make those situations. Specialists, good on third down on the backfield. DJ is pressured and taken down. They got to him. That was strong by Kevin Harris. Well, the third down blitz package is starting to take its toll now, but it's a totally different animal now playing against the Yellow Jackets. Mastromano. Oh, he's blown up right at the 10 yard line was Rodney Shelley. Shelley's lucky that he held on to the ball because Edwin Joseph, the backup corner, was 14. 14 between number 10 Florida State and Georgia Tech as Haynes Avery Boyd It's a nice play call there by Buster Fox for Georgia Tech. They've had a lot of success with these handoffs in between the tackles that time when Georgia Tech is on offense and they're supporting that Bulls D Haynes King gets it out and gets it complete to Chase Lane that was a busted coverage by Florida State. We go with the jet motion, Rutherford again, and Rutherford will get a first down for Tech. And that's the hard part, right? Because you've seen jet motion, jet motion, jet motion. Most times they're not handing it off, and after a while the defense kind of falls asleep. We're not going to give it to them. That's the first football put on the ground today. Third down and 12. Pressure on King, and he gets the crossing route and a first down to Rutherford. Haynes King comes up big. Second and five. Empty look for King. He's going to try to run himself, but he does so with success. Inside the 10, inside the five. Folks, it's first and goal. Georgia Tech looking to take the lead. Upset seeking Georgia Tech starts the fourth quarter with a chance to take the lead and up and over and in goes Jamal Hayes. Capping the long drive. And Aiden Burr, sir, puts it in to make it 21 to 14. Just can't say enough about the physicality up front from Georgia Tech. That time, Jordan Williams, the right tackle, he's going to slant down here on Farmer, an all-conference ACC defensive lineman. He's going to just slam him on the ground. 
able to pivot, throws him down. It was a bit of a pile up and over easy for Jamal Haynes. And I gotta be honest, Joe, I, I'm surprised that Georgia Tech's physicality has been winning the day up front offensively against this vaunted Florida State defensive line. Brent Key, the head coach, how much pride does he take in that offensive line play? And 10. DJ Ruangale gets it to the outside right at that line to gain to Malik Benson. That is a big throw and a big movement to move those. Play action. Quickly getting it into Portier's hands. And that's a first down goals crossing mid. 86. Now Morlock, the other tight end, comes in as well. Here's your third down and seven. Louis Ungale looking for the back shoulder. Incomplete thrown to the outside of Kyle Morlock. And Rodney Shelley had coverage. He's got time. And he's got a man. Jepai Douglas. First down. That time charts from Atlanta. Third down and nine. Williams, as he bumped into his quarterback. And they are going to be facing fourth down again. That is what Mike Norvell will do. Fourth down and eight. DJ. Flanked by Williams. Williams into the end zone. What a well-managed drive by DJU, Mike Norvell, Douglas and Benson, and then capped by Williams. Two for two on fourth down on the drive. I mean, a 15-play drive. And then Fitzgerald with the extra point to tie it. But Jesse, 15 plays in nearly eight and a half minutes with the fourth down tosses. DJ Uwe Ungolay, two for two on fourth down. And then Roy Dell Williams, a transfer from Alabama. And boy, oh boy, is it good to have ball back, folks. We got one today. And a big third down. Hain, pressure gets it out, gets it complete. As Haynes gets all the extra yardage. And the Yellow Jackets are in business. The leg of Aiden Bird, they need it. Did miss from 51, but he's willing. Alexander, and it's another first down for upset-seeking Georgia Tech. Yeah, this, you cannot say enough about this offense. And it's a first down, Georgia Tech. Coming up on just over a minute to play, and a timeout is going to be used. Mishap puts them in a compromised situation. They get it quickly to the outside to Singleton, and he drives his legs inside the 30. 44 yards away to do it. Get a big chunk of the yardage back to set up Aiden Burr. 
This thing was working left, and it just stayed inside the left goalpost as time expires, and Georgia Tech gets the win.